Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to copy the live crypto data into your file. This is an interesting topic so watch this video till the end to get the clear picture of it. This is helped by one of my YouTube followers and thank you for that. It really helps a lot not only for me also for other people who are going to watch this video. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Basically this is the excel file and this is how they are connected to that. So how it has been connected to this data in excel file into that source, hopefully I will cover that on the next video. And the main topic of this one is how we need to capture this history live data into our history record. because in order to analyze for our own purpose. So not only for this one, it has a multiple use cases where you can copy the live data and then you can add it into your own record. That's an interesting one. So for this, what we need to do is we need to have Power Automate desktop. Yes, this is a free tool. If you are using Windows 11, then you will get this as a default installed on your machine. And if you are using Windows 10, they, then you can download it from Microsoft website. I can add it, the link in the description of this video as well. And this is completely free. You can try it for your purpose. So I have made a few videos about the Power Automate desktop, how you can work on those things. You can also go and check out that video as well. So here, the main thing is how you can do that. So basically, you can click on the new flow and then give it a name. After that, it will open up this window. I just walked through all this about the main feature and the UI. In the previous videos, please go and check out that video as well. So the, now the thing is, we have option here as Excel. So we have plenty of option here. And from that, I just drag and drop the first option as an launch Excel. Basically, the launch Excel is the one which here I have two options with the blank document or open and following document. If it is existing one, then I can use the existing one, which is this one. And if you want to make this instance visible, it means it will open the Excel file and then you can also see how it works. If you don't want to see all has to be done in the background, that also fine. You can also turn off this option. And if you want to add it as a read only, you can also do that. And if that Excel has a power password, you can also add that password here. And after that, I'm just taking this option here, get first free column and row from that Excel worksheet. Because I want to know till what level of data it has, till num what is the number of um, records it has because today right now for example we have if you look at this excel file right now we have almost about 72 71 coins here maybe it will grow future drastically so in that case i just want to know about what is the last column name and last row which is available on this excel sheet i'm just closing this excel for now okay after that i want to read the excel file so basically first of all get first row right it just, I need to pass the instance, which is the Excel instance, which I have created here, launch Excel. And after that, I have option here, read from Excel worksheet. So I want to read the data inside to the Excel sheet, just to copy things. So the Excel instance is the first one, which I launch here, which is this one. And after that, retrieve values. Here we have multiple options, value of a single cell, value from the range of cells, value from selection, all values from the worksheet. So I'm just selecting it to be values from the range of cells because I want to select the range here. So the first column starts is start column here, which is the first and the column starts from one, not from zero. So one here and the row, I'm starting it from two here. Basically, I want to copy an existing Excel file. So I'm just taking it as two. The first row is header for this one, right? So I don't want to use that. If you are using it in a new Excel file, then you can use one here. And then you can mention this here as first line of range contains column names. I don't need here, so I'm not selecting it here. Then what is the end column name and end row? So the one which we have got it from this one, right? Get the first free column and row. So that is what I'm selecting it here. By clicking on this X function, I'm selecting this first free column name and then the first three rows here. That's it. And after that, I'm selecting the launch Excel again and I'm selecting the history Excel file which I'm just copying the data from there and then updating it here on the Excel file. It's the same process. I'm just opening an existing document and I need to select this one and make this instant as visible. And after that, I'm doing the same process, get first free rows 
or column from the Excel file. And the last thing is I am doing it here is a write Excel, write X to Excel worksheet. So if I do here, then it just Excel instance. I just need to write it on this instance, which is the second Excel file. And the, what is the value to write? The value which I copied it from the first instance, I can select here. This will give you the list of available variables I have. I can select the Excel data here. And the write mode on a specific cell or on a currently active cell. I don't have the currently active cell on this Excel sheet. So even though I have captured the last three rows, right? So I'm just using the column one as the first column it need to add. And the last free row is the one which I have just extracted from the previous step. That's a cool thing. So if I do so, and then I'm closing this Excel file, you have the close or Excel. And while closing the Excel, you have option before closing the Excel, save the document or not. Because we have option here, save Excel, but that doesn't need actually. Uh, we can just directly use the same thing here. Use the close Excel and while closing, before closing, you can just save this Excel file. And if I run this one, then this will just copy things from this excel to this one so let me show you the existing one this is actually the existing one uh no this is the main thing which has 71 records here and this is the existing one which contains the data till 143 rows here okay now I'll just close here and run this flow here this will take some time depending on your pc performance It will go step by step. All right. So now if I open this Excel of the history one, if I go to the end of this one, then I can see the value till 214. Previously it was like 143 and now it has filled all the data here till this one. Now you may wonder about this contains almost same value, but how about the real time data, right? Yeah, I know about that. So I'm closing these Excel files now. First of all, I want to open the one which is the live one. Okay, so right now this is the one and if I want to refresh it, the data, then I need to click on the data and then refresh all, then it will get the latest data for me. And how we need to do this in Power Automate desktop? Basically, if I just uh, small this one, the left pane, then I got this option as a recorder. If I increase this one, then I just got this icon, but if I just decrease this one I got the recorder also so what I need to do here I want to launch the excel file and after that I want to use the recorder option so which is capture the steps of your automation to be converted into flow actions so if I click on recorder here it will give a new window here and here I can do whatever I want to do it here on the excel file so right now this is the window I have and I need to click on this excel files and first of all, I need to click on the record here. And then if I just mouse over here on the Excel file, then whatever the steps I'm doing it here, it will record each and every step here. If I click on this Excel file, so basically what I did here, I just clicked on the record and then I clicked on the Excel file on the top header and also I click on the menu as a data and after that in the refresh all by doing that it refreshed the data as a live data here so right now it is not 29th one and if I click finish here it will save this process here now let's here save this flow run this one so let's hope for the best So now we have data of 29 and here we got an error is because it actually generating the data right so we need to add a wait time here as I got this error because of it refreshing the data so we need to add a wait control here I'm going to add this here in between this one and I want this to wait for uh, let's say 25 seconds 
in seconds so i just need to wait for 25 seconds uh 30 seconds let's say for example and save So after doing this one, it will wait for 30 seconds and then it will do these processes. Let's save this Excel, I mean save this flow and run now. So it is opening the Excel file and clicking on the data and click on refresh all. And here if you see at the bottom of the screen, loading data model, loading .NET framework and I have given it to wait for 30 seconds. Hopefully that should be enough to generate the data then well it will be run without any error if it needs more time then we need to increase the 30 second time period i think it needs more time yeah now we have 29 data and now it is launching another excel file copying all the data and then going to the last of this excel sheet and pasting it here that's a good thing so now let's open that excel one if you want to disable any step, then you can right click here and then disable action just for temporary purpose. So this is a history of the data. If I just go to the bottom of this one, yes, now I have the data of 29th January. This is awesome, right? So this is how you can able to copy your live data of the crypto or stock or any other information which you want to copy from live to your history data in an Excel file. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.